पवित्र आत्ता जीशु शिष्य पवित्र आत्ता के तारा ग्रहण कर लो द्वित हल जरा बे घर दरजा गुले बंद कर घर भिल ते जीवन एल परिवर्तन तारा पवित्र आत्ता शक्ति अभिषिक्त हुए जीशुर बाणी प्रचार कर लो तृतीय हल जरा ओस बाणी शुन लो तारा सकले पवित्र आत्ता शक्ति अभिषिक्त हुए उठल एवं तेज निज निज भाषा से ऐसाणी बुझे पार चतुर्थ हल भय ना पे सकल सामने आज कृष्ण भक्तगण जीशुर बाणी अनुसारे जीवन जापन कर लीशु कृष्ण के सी हो उठल आज के प्रदम पाठ के सुनते पेल कि से प्रदम फैंडाकस दिवस ये महापरिवर्तन घटे आकाश थे प्रचंड बतास बे जावा मत एक शब्द तारा देखते पेल आगुने मत कतगुल जीवा भाग भाग कर तर मृत्युजर ऊपर बस लारा सकले पवित्रतूर्ण हो उठल आज के द्वितीय पाठे साधु फल प्रकाश करें पवित्रतार गान पवित्रतार फल हल भलोबाशा आनंद शांति सहिष्णुता सहजोगिता मंगलानुग्धा विश्वस्तता अमलता आत्मसंजम इत्यादि फल और बोलें जी पवित्र आत्मार दान पे थी जाते आत्मार दान सकल मानुषे मंगल व्यवहार करते मंगल बार्ता सुनते पेल कि जीश्व तर शिष्य सामने आविर्भूत हुई तर आशीर्वाद करल से दिन सप्तार प्रथम दिन शिष्य जेखनेजी बे से समस्त दरजागुल बंद थकते जीशु वे मजखने एलें तर मजखने इसे तरह बोलें तुम्हारे शांति हो पिता जेमन के प्रेम करें तुम्हारे पटाची पवित्र आत्मा के ग्रहण कर तुम्हारा जो कारो पाप क्षमा करो ता क्षमा करा हो जो कारो पाप क्षमा ना करो ता क्षमा ना कर पवित्र आत्मा द्वारा पाप क्षमा कर शक्ति लाभ करी और तार शक्ति परस्पर के भलते परस्पर दोष की क्षमा करते शक्ति लाभ करी पवित्र आत्मा सहाज करें जाते स्वर्गनिवासी ईश्वर के पिता बोले डाकते दीर्घ स्नान पवित्र आत्मा के ग्रहण करे एवं ईश्वर सन्तान हो उठे पवित्र आत्मा द्वारा हमें उठी ईश्वर मंदिर 
এবং ঈশ্বরের আত্মা আমাদের অন্তরে বাস করেন পবিত্র আত্মায় পবিত্র ঈশ্বরী পবিত্র আত্মার শক্তিতে আমরা ঈশ্বরের মন্দির হয়ে উঠি আমরা তো সেই মন্দির যদি ঈশ্বরের আত্মা আমাদের অন্তরে বাস করেন তবে আমরা এই মন্দিরটি পবিত্র করে রাখতে হবে আমাদের চিন্তায় কথায় ও কাজকর্মে আমরা পবিত্রভাবে থাকতে হবে এই মন্দিরের পবিত্রতা আমাদের জীবনের পবিত্রতা এই কথা আমরা সর্বদাই মনে রাখা দরকার তিনি আমাদের শক্তি দান করেন যাতে আমরা প্রলোভনে না করি তিনি আমাদের সাহায্য করেন যাতে আমরা কৃষ্ণের আদেশ অনুসারে জীবনযাপন করি তিনি আমাদের পবিত্র করে তুলেন পবিত্র সংস্কার দ্বারা তিনি আমাদের শক্তি দান করেন যাতে আমরা পালোর পথে এগিয়ে চলি তিনি আমাদের সাহায্য করেন যেসব শিক্ষা অনুসারে জীবন যাপন করতে তিনি আমাদের সাহস ও শক্তি দান করেন তিনি আমাদের প্রার্থনা শোনেন প্রার্থনা করতে আমাদের সাহায্য করেন তিনি আমাদের সর্বপ্রকার আশীর্বাদ দান করে থাকেন তাই আমরা পবিত্র আত্মার পরিচালনা এগিয়ে চলি তার আশীর্বাদে আমরা পরস্পরই ভালোবাসাই এবং পরস্পরই সেবাই এগিয়ে চলি এবং পরস্পরে দোষটি কমা করি আমি প্রার্থনা করি যে পবিত্র আত্মার শক্তিতে আমাদের বিশ্ব বিশ্ব ইলেকট্রিক ফাদার যোগ ইনভলভার একজন সহায়ক হিসেবে একজন সান্ত্বনাতা হিসেবে এবং একজন ধর্মীয় হিসেবে আমাদের সাহায্য করেন তার নেতৃত্বে আয়োজন জনপ্রদেশের প্রদেশের বারাকবালি যেন উন্নতি পথে গিয়ে চলে মা মারিয়া এবং সকল সাহসাদের মজসুদাই প্রভু পরমেশ্বর আমাদের প্রত্যেকের জীবনে তার ওই আশীর্বাদ দান করেন The bishop elect is now led by his assisting priest in front of the principal consecrator and expresses his resolve to discharge the office of the apostles entrusted to him by the laying on of hands to be faithful and constant in proclaiming the gospel of Christ to maintain the deposit of faith as handed down by the apostles and professed by the church everywhere and at all times to build up the church as the body of Christ and to remain united with it the order of bishops under the authority of the successor of the apostle Peter to be faithful in his obedience to the successor of the apostle Peter to sustain the people of God and to guide them in the way of salvation in cooperation with the priests who share in the same ministry to show kindness and compassion in the name of the Lord to the poor and to all who are in need to seek out the sheep who stray and gather them into the fold of the Lord to pray for the people of God without ceasing and to carry out the duties of the priesthood with no grounds for reproach an age old custom of the fathers decrees that a bishop elect is to be questioned before the people on this on his resolve of hold the faith and to discharge his duties faithfully. And so, my dear brother, I will resolve by the grace of the Holy Spirit to discharge the end of your life, the office of the apostles entrusted to us, which we now pass on to you by the laying on of hands. I am. I will resolve to be faithful and constant in proclaiming the gospel of Christ. I am. I will resolve to maintain the deposit of faith entered and interrupted as a handed down by the apostles and professed by the church everywhere and all times. I am. I will resolve to build up the church as the body of Christ and to remain united to it within the order of bishops under the authority of the successor of the apostle Peter. I am. I will resolve to be faithful in your obedience 
the successor of the apostles Peter, I am. I will resolve as a devoted father to sustain the people of God and to guide them in the way of salvation in cooperation with the priests and deacons who share your ministry. I am. I will resolve to show kindness and compassion in the name of the Lord to the poor and to, uh, to our strangers <coughs> and to all who are in need. I am. I will resolve as a good shepherd to seek out the sheep who stray and gather them into the fold of the Lord. I am. I will resolve to pray for the people of God without ceasing and to carry out the duties of one who has the fullness of the priesthood so as to afford no crowns for reproach. I am. May God who has begun the good work in your in you bring it to fulfill men. The bishop elect, Reverend Father Joachim, will now prostrate and invoke the saints and angels of God in silence while the choir and the people of God sing the litany of saints. At the end of the litany. My dear people, let us pray that the Almighty God in His goodness will put out His grace upon this man whom He has chosen. Spiritual power in all His richness, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you stand? The principal consecrator and the consecrating bishops stand at their places facing the people. The bishop-elect rises, goes to the principal consecrator and kneels before him. The principal consecrator lays his hands upon the head of the bishop-elect in silence. After him, all the other bishops present do the same. All the bishops are requested to move from the left side of the altar to the right side. The primary duty of a bishop is to proclaim the word of God. Hence, the principal consecrator places the open book of the Gospels upon the head of the bishop-elect. Two assisting priests, Father Santiago and Father Sirjit, standing at either side of the bishop-elect, hold the book of the Gospels above his head until the prayer of the consecration is completed. The principal consecrator extends his hands over the bishop-elect and says aloud the prayer of consecration. Thereafter, all the bishops with hands joined pray together that the Holy Spirit which descended upon Jesus at the time of baptism and the same Spirit which descended upon the apostles on the day of Pentecost may descend upon the new bishop. After the concluding prayer by the principal consecrator, the assisting priests move, remove the book of the Gospels which they have been holding above the head of the new bishop. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercies and God of all consolation, you dwell in heaven, yet look with compassion on all that is humble. You know all things before they come to be by your gracious word. You have established the plan of your church. From the beginning, you chose the descendants of Abraham to be a holy nation. You established rulers and priests and did, leave, did not leave your sanctuary without ministers to serve you. From the creation of the world, you have been pleased to be glorified by those whom you have chosen. The following prayer is recited by all the consecrating bishops with hands joined. So now, now pour out upon this chosen one that power which is from you, the governing spirit from you, give to your beloved son, Jesus Christ, the spirit given by him to the holy apostles who founded the church in every place to be your temple for the unceasing glory and praise of your name. 
the principle consecrated alone continues. Father, you know all in your all hearts. You have chosen your servant for the office of bishop. May he be a shepherd to your holy flock and a high priest blameless in your sight, ministering to you night and day. May he always gain the blessing of your favor and offer the gifts of your holy church. Through the spirit you give, the grace of high priesthood, grant him the power to forgive sins as you have commanded to assign ministries as you have decreed and to have commanded to assign ministries as you decreed and to lose every bond by the authority which you have given to your apostles. May he be pleasing to you for gentleness and purity of heart, presenting a fragrant offering to you through Jesus Christ, your Son, through whom glory and power and honor are yours with the Holy Spirit in your holy church now and forever. Amen. Anointing of the bishop's head. Anointing the head with oil has an important significance which is rooted in the Jewish tradition. In the Old Testament, the prophets, priests and kings were anointed during the Old Testament period. The same tradition continues in the Catholic Church because Christ himself declared, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me and he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. The principal consecrator will now take the oil of chrism and will anoint the head of the new bishop who kneels before him, saying that the mystical anointing may enrich the new bishop with spiritual blessings. God has brought you to share the high priesthood of Christ. May he pour out on you the oil of a mystical anointing and enrich you with spiritual blessings. Presentation of the Book of the Gospels Christ commanded his apostles to go and preach the gospel to every creature. As the successors of the apostles, the bishops are duty-bound to preach the gospel of Christ. Reminding this command of Christ, our Lord, Saviour, the principal consecrator will now hand over the book of the Gospels to the newly ordained bishop, saying, Receive the Gospel and preach the word of God with unfailing patience and sound teaching. Receive the Gospel and preach the word of God with unfailing patience and sound teaching. Investiture with ring, mitre and pastoral staff. Ring. It signifies fidelity and devotedness. The principal consecrator will now bless the ring and will place it on the ring finger of the new bishop's right hand with an exhortation to guard the seal of fidelity with faith and protect the pride of God, his holy church. Receive this ring, the seal of your fidelity with faith and love Protect, protect the pride of God, His Holy Church. Mitre. The principal consecrator will place the mitre on the head of the new bishop. Mitre stands as a symbol of holiness. It remains as an outward expression of inner holiness of life. The holiness must shine forth in thought, word and deed so that through the life of holiness, the humanity is sanctified. Receive the mitre and may the splendor of holiness shine forth in you so that when the chief shepherd appears to you, may deserve to receive from him an unfading crown of glory. Pastoral staff. The principal consecrator will give the pastoral staff to the bishop. It is a sign of holding a pastoral office in the church. It reminds one of his duties to watch over the flock with love and care. The Holy Spirit strengthens the anointed to shepherd the church of God. Receive this staff as a sign of your pastoral office. Keep watch over the whole flock in which the Holy Spirit has anointed 
appointed you to shepherd the church of God. The newly ordained bishop sets aside his staff and receives the gift kiss of peace from the principal consecrator and all the other bishops. <laughs>